Hey hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. Uh, today I'm going to do this very important video which is going to be kind of a review of what happened in 2015. <laughs> Why is it that Flat Earth just as a topic went completely bonker and went completely viral? And it's also a response to the people who say, hey obviously look at this, this is a PSYOP. And uh, I completely disagree. And I believe this argument is based on more of ignorance of human action than actual, tangible fact. You know, it's just conjecture, say, hey, look at this, this is obviously a PSYOP, which is what I see out there on the internet. And this is my me doing my case of the who, what, where, and how this happened in 2015 and beyond. Now, let me first start by saying Flat Earth is completely different than any other topic, you know. Uh, it's been more than six months that I'm, that I'm uh, completely uh, fascinated by the topic. And I haven't been fascinated by any other topic like that, like, you know, 9-11 or uh, GFK or all of those other topics, you know, that long and so intensely. Primarily because Flat Earth as a topic is something that you and me can go out there and check for yourself. Uh, with all of this other conspiracy, uh, it's very, you know, tedious to go check out the primary sources. Uh, most of people are consumer of conspiracy theories and conspiracy narrative or facts, but they're not much researchers. And that's why I think really me makes a difference is that when people go check it out for themselves with their five senses and they grasp it, the illogical aspect of a spherical earth, they become believer on a whole different level than if they just listen to a bunch of documentaries um, and having a few people with, you know, authority telling them the story. Now, let me start with what I think is going on when someone call uh, this thing a PSYOP or someone a shill. I think it's simply a knee-jerk reaction uh, to explain something they can't explain any other way. And it's an ad, ad hominem, you know, it's an attack on the character of something, on, on the trade. So they look at this, they look at the flat earth and they can't conceive why this thing goes viral. Um, they, uh, they don't understand what makes people share it so much on social media and so on and so forth. So they simply do name calling so that they don't have to defend it, their argument. And that's the beautiful thing with calling someone a shill or saying this piece of information is a psyop is that they have no basis in evidence yet people buy, they buy it. You know, it's like someone say, hey, I think we should revise our policy on immigration. And on the mainstream media, they say, well, this person is a racist. And that's it. The person is dismissed and his argument forgotten. And I think that's what's going on when someone say, oh, flattered, it's a psyop. Or it's not organic. It's completely organic. And I will expose the who, what, when, and how it happened. Now, I'm going to revisit a little bit of my story of how I came to uh, change my belief about the shape of the earth. And I think it's not going to be that different than you who's listening right now. For me, it started with a podcast I was a fan of, which was Anarchast. And um, Eric Dubé came in and uh, I couldn't listen to it. I couldn't get myself to listen to this podcast. When I saw the title in my newsfeed, I was just, <laughs> I was just, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Um, but then one day I was bored. I needed to clean my house and have a podcast. And that was the only one I didn't listen to yet. So I said, whatever, I'm just going to listen to it. And then at the end of it, I found myself painted in a corner, not being able to actually do any name calling anymore. I was like, wow, we did a exposed really good case then and I can't even debunk it 
uh, and then I went on to Dipongit. I went out there, uh, took my binoculars, and I was living by the ocean, so I chose a few landmark with Google Map and did the curvature test, which um, would turn negative, obviously, like uh, many of us who's listening right now um, came to. So this was very powerful, like, and it completely took over my life, like many of us. Uh, couldn't get myself to just ignore it. I had to dig deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, how does this viral thing happen? Well, as you can see here, it starts with one or two people being able to spread a message. And it first started with Eric Dubé. Eric Dubé came in in November with his first video was the Flat Earth Conspiracy. Love him or hate him, he's a great explainer. He's a great uh, interviewer on podcast. He did an amazing job on uh, on the first podcast I listened to. And this is what compelled me to wanting to debunk him. So it started on November. As you can see here, that's November. November here, he releases the Flat Earth Conspiracy and then go on different podcasts such as the Higher Side Chat and maybe a few people on every one of those podcasts listened to him and did exactly like I did and then did snowballed and this is what you need you need a good good people beginning to expose the idea and you also need the idea to be very powerful uh, now we had the second person who came on on the scene which was uh, Mark Sargent came out with his flattered clues which were bite-sized easy to digest narrative rather than uh, hardcore facts which uh, also had a lot of success <coughs> sorry about that now what makes this topic go viral um, it's as close as it gets to a religious concept um, ever since we're baby or very young in school we see where we live or cosmology of who am I where am I what's the meaning of life well that's pretty much it you know it can all be represented with this symbol you know it's really when you think about it the the ball earth most people believe in it yet they have no evidences for it um, it's like God in many way it's a symbol that uh, people identify with that's been um, drilled into their brain not to say that God doesn't exist it's just that in terms of evidence there's a lot of faith around it and it's very deep it, it answers the meaning of life pretty much and that's what the ball earth is and when you challenge that and you give a different cosmology you get all you get the recipe for viral growth first you have highly emotional you know no one is lukewarm to this topic you know you get an instant reaction of opposition or intrigue or whatever you whatever the emotion you have an emotion when the topic is brought up second thing is you have extreme polarization you know there's no middle ground if oh yeah it could be a ball or it could be something but well, whatever it doesn't really matter no no that's not what you get you get people say hey it's absolutely a ball and other people say it's absolutely flat and there's no middle ground there's no compromise between the two it's like uh, 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 Republican and Democrats you know, it can say, ah, it doesn't matter really, I want both. You know, no, <laughs> there is no such thing as that. People are polarized by this topic extremely. So we have those two things. And we, ha we have those people who came early in the scene and then which uh, brought other people on scene, like uh, Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole and Rob Skiba and Patricia Steer and... You go on and on and on of people that it first started with 
very few people, but the idea catch on because it's a very, very, very powerful idea. Um, I think they tried to keep the lid on it with the flattered society, making it always the topic of ridicule, ridicule, always bringing it up associated with people who question global warming for some very strange reason, uh, because whoever's in control, they're not really in control. They're doing public relation. And they knew that if this idea catched on, there would be no stopping it. There's no way for me to be convinced through an argument that the earth is a ball. The only way you're going to convince me it's a ball is if I can go to the moon, stay at a resort for a weekend, and watch it and see the ball rotating. Because everything else to me has been debunked. And I would see it, I need to see it from with my eyes to actually stop believing that it's flat. You know, there's no going back. And like it, you know, I can share some of my analytics here. We can see that it's just people share this stuff. And people share when it's very, you know, when there's an appeal to emotions, when it's an appeal to belief, uh, it touches people on a very deep level. And, um, it's like, let's say you have a, some people have a religious, uh, let's say they're Christian or Muslim or Hindu. Could you imagine yourself having a spouse that doesn't embrace your faith or your belief? It, it's almost impossible. You know, it's like, um, you know, I couldn't imagine Rob Skiba having a secular wife. It just wouldn't work. It would just not be compatible. And that's what's happening is that we find ourselves and our families and friends and being alone having this belief and wanting to sh and we're compelled to share it because it makes so much sense also it has an appeal to logic it has an appeal to intelligence because once you figure that out you actually feel like you got smarter you actually feel you've been uh you know the the, the wool has been pulled out of your eyes and that you're actually seeing the real world for the first time just like neo and the matrix um, we're compelled to share it. And this is what I believe created this. Like, 100%. I have no doubt. It's not a PSYOP. It's just this thing, having the right people at the right time, going out there, going on podcasts, sharing the idea, having a very strong case. Now, let me just put a caveat at the end of this video, and because you're here, thank you so much for listening to the video until the end. But... You know, it's not going to go viral in 2016, and uh, not viral, I mean mainstream. Look at, you know, the Kardashian. If we compare the Flat Earth to the Kardashian, <laughs> it's it's kind of sad to realize this state of the world, but, um, you know, the Kardashian are, um, you know, <laughs> have, have nothing to envy the Flat Earth. You know, they're much more mentioned, and... Uh, we're not going to go mainstream to 2016, but we're going to keep on going viral and expose more people to the idea, and they're going to make their own mind, and I think it's going to be, make a difference. I don't know when, I don't know how, we can only look back with a hindsight of 2020. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you on the next video.